All right, man. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, as you can tell, I was tucked in. I was tucked in like a motherfucker. I was ready to go to bed. All that shit. And um, lo and behold, not only one of the disgusting brothers decided to drop, but both of them decided to drop. I was willing to just go to bed, you know, kind of let the Drake one decompress. Let niggas react to it, you know, all that. Wake up to it, do a reaction at that point. But Kendrick drops. Within, I mean, I don't know the rough timing here because I was, again, deposed, sleeping, whatever the fuck. Both of these niggas have to release within about 30 minutes of each other. So, again, uh, Drake has moles in his camp. I think that's a fact. Uh, I mean, it's possible Kendrick just, like, saw the nigga upload it and then just decided to, like, release shit. Totally possible. Um, I feel like it's just more likely nigga got moles in his camp. I don't know. I, I feel like he... He got moles in his camp, and that's just how it is. A nigga got rats in his camp, and nigga shit with Caesar. Uh, his Leonidas, uh, the nigga just got mad motherfuckers in his camp that do not look for his best interest. Uh, OVO40. And at this point, man, I'm going to have to just do this reaction, uh, knowing that Kendrick probably got something way better waiting the wings. And by waiting the wings, I mean, like, it's literally out right now. I just got to listen to this first. But... I'll be honest with you, Drake did come hard on push-ups. I thought Taylor May freestyle was interesting. Uh, some people think it's dystopian, basically, but I don't really give a fuck about the AI in this, in this situation, per se. Uh, at least we're finally past the point of looking at every song that came out, every bar that came out, thinking, oh my God, is it AI? And it's funny that we think about, we really thought it was AI when it just came to Drake. It never came to anybody that Kendrick could have been doing AI. That never really... Uh, I wonder what that says about the two of them. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to have, if I can figure it out, my fucking donkey brain has been fucked up trying to get this set up. I'm going to have at least a video playing. Uh, the audio will not be passed through because if I shit, we can take it down immediately, I'm sure. Drake will send assistant deceased for anything or anybody. So I think it'll definitely do it for me too. So I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to switch the view and then we'll just go from there. All right, let's get it. Okay, just straight into it. And keep in mind, like, I think every Monday, Mom knew, like, he had something ready to go after the week or two between Taylor May freestyle to push ups. Like, I, I think we all figured, like, his next song was going to be ready to go. It's probably to be, like I said in the previous video, which I should probably link somewhere up top. Um, he's going to, like, probably edit it a little bit to kind of fit or, or, you know, match with what we got now between, you know, Kendrick's revelations, if you want to call it. And all those various entendres and beautiful fucking lyrics that he put in his two responses. So he may have edited a little bit, but this is probably roughly a song that he's been sitting on for about a week. That Chris Brown. <laughs> mm. Okay. Really? Wait, whoa, whoa. Wait. Vanilla cream. Is he talking about Coke? Whoa. I think talking about Coke. On some Bobby shit. 
it's a double entendre on some Bobby shit. Bobby was a, a crackhead. Um, and then Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> I, I didn't really explain. I'm like, my brain is cooked right now. The, the crackhead shit. And then also, um, Whitney is Kendrick's wife. Uh, Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston. Do you deserve? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah, so he went into it. Okay. I'm not going to do too much editing because I got to go ahead and just get this shit going. But uh, in my first video, kind of hypothesizing, like, where we're going to have to euphoria, uh, I figured this, like, where I was going to be, like, just straight, like, napalms just uh you know I, i'm hoping for just jabs or not jabs and power punches both ways but at the very least i thought kid was going to come with some heavy shit because i knew drake was going to bring in the kids um the whole you know bodyguard whitney that whole thing was like alluding to basically like one of his kids not being kendrick's so we got we went to the we went there drake went there and this is supposed to be the napalm hopefully my bitch titties do not have, um do not offend anybody in particular. All right. That's tough. He went there. Necessity red shit. Oh, that's supposed to be, uh, that's supposed to be the, like, the van from, uh, GKMC. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't think I get that one. I get the Abel. I mean, I get the Abel part. Like Abel, like is that? Is there a song? It's Abel made called Serenade. I don't. Anyway, Abel beef. You know all that shit. I, that one went over my head. I have to come back to that one. I guess. Twenty nine for the thought. Okay, it's supposed to be three part as I understand. That's when they got spoiled. This is a corpse? Uh, not a corpse. Um, what you like dragging nigga out on? A stretch, not stretcher, but like. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Real shooter in your gang that's peace, brother. Y'all ain't getting shit shot, nigga. So is he going back to talking about weekend? Cause he weekend like shit talk to Chubbs making TikToks. That's peace, brother. Y'all ain't getting shit shot, nigga. Stick talking for a set say for a hip hop nigga. Okay, so this is like weekend, I guess. Whoa. Okay, so he's still doing the shit on everybody shit. Oh my god. Um that that bar. All right, I'm up. I'm up now. I'm up. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Wow. Whoa. That's a CO Ricky. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like a uh you know where you carry a, uh I don't know what it's called is it a hearse I don't know but like where you like carry a casket off I think it's a hearse I think that's what this is supposed to be in this video
People said they didn't want the, the phobia in this. Um, the the phobia is there. I'm, I'm, I don't know if y'all wanted it or not. I, I think the phobia might have been there in Euphoria. Even though I know what Kendrick said on fucking Auntie, whatever the fuck. I, I know what he said. But, yeah, I'm sorry. The, the phobia is there, bro. Yeah, yeah, I gotta put this on the IG. Wow, we. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be an IG post. Uh, now recording. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah, damn. That... We can, so, yo, on the real tip, I gotta ride with Drake on this, bro. Am I still recording? I, I think Drake been trying to get Weekend back in the fold. Now, to keep in mind that, like, Weekend knows better than any other person, maybe in music, period, that, like, w- what Drake is and isn't as far as a real or fake nigga. But from the outside looking in, it seems like this been something that Weekend just, like, did not, uh, could not get past with Drake. I mean, literally, there's some, I think Weekend came out for Drake's birthday party or vice versa. The one had like Dave Chappelle there and all that shit, and like it's supposed to have gotten back together. Ovio, 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 so obviously that shit was about as effective as Drake and Kanye getting back together. Uh, but there's something they've been beefing about since literally like post Take Care, and like a lot of us assumed that it was like related to you know Weekend. I want to be in Drake's shadow. Drake trying to sign this nigga to like a fucking three sixty, any of that shit. But apparently it's over a woman. That they were both trying to have sex with in their the early days. This is a fucking crazy line, dude. Distortion. Oof. 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 Let's go. Hey, is that Rocky Bars? I, I think this is referring to Cash, so. ASAP Rocky. Oof. Oof. Wow. The Kim suit? Wait, whoa. Oh, Skim. Kim, that's Kim's bro. Okay, yeah. Is he gonna, is he gonna come at Kanye? This, that's just about everybody except Kanye at this point. Would he come back to Kanye again? Or would he... He probably close up with Kendrick again, I think. But he could do a whole part on Kanye. We'll see. Ooh. <laughs> it's apparently something where I don't know where I read this at earlier today, but like Drake was planning on going on vacation, and the Kendrick shit like that came out just as this nigga supposed to be like finally winded down. He's supposed to have won- won- winded down after uh, whatever the last album was. And uh, he didn't get the chance to because he fucking lied about like wanting to like quit music for a year or whatever. So he did a tour, the whole J. Cole tour and all that shit. And um, now we come here where he says he got on this vacation yet because he's trying to respond to a million niggas being the fuck out of him. New Ho King, okay. 
Is that the place that he name dropped, uh, Kendrick? Johnny Dang. Happy co-parenting, happy divorce. Is this in reference to Kendrick? Did he get divorced with Whitney? Johnny Dang's looking rough out there. Okay, that's that's a well, hell of a play or hell of a, a flip there. Michael Jack. <laughs> Am I recording still? Y'all can see this shit, right? Y'all can see. Kendrick beating his, uh, I was about to say something crazy. Beating his girl, uh, ass? Now. West Delala. I guess this dog was probably California, probably. Wow. Ooh. 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 And there's video proof. Oh, it's only Big Dean's video. Oh, yeah. His, oh, my God. Yo, Drake Cook. Nigga, Drake Murray. That, that's the shit right there. Look at it. And six minutes so this nigga had ready to go right fucking 15 minutes fucking later. God damn, hip hop, man. Let's fucking go. Yo, um, nigga. Yo. Do that middle section, bro. I'm gonna keep it funky, bro. That middle section, that nigga was. <laughs> yo, <laughs> I got these. <laughs> I got these. Uh, yo, I'm, I'm gonna show you this shit real quick. I got these uh, fun words I got off of fucking. Um, I got second hand that I, I listed because I was trying to like basically fuck niggas on the price. Um. I got I gotta send you all this shit. Hold let please eBay let, let me pull Yo, I'ma show you the shit and then I'ma sh I'ma show you the response, bro. Fucking pull it. It's the funniest shit, bro. I'm sorry. This ain't even like I'm on my fucking act shit, bro. I see why these niggas stream these reviews now, cause this shit is way more effective um uh, than trying to do a fucking I don't got the clout though to do a um to do a a, a live stream, so I gotta do a record to get my views up because I'm I'm I got I'm not clouded, bro. I'm not clouded at all. I nigga, I couldn't do a, a stream, bro.
I mean, I probably could, but like, all right. So here's the, here's the shit right here, bro. All right. So here's, <laughs> yeah. And these these are the fun runners, bro. Keep in mind, that, you know, we're talking about Kanye, bro. So uh, you know, you got to do. Hold up, let me. Hold up, I can actually just switch right here, right? Okay. Um. So these are the phone runners. I don't know if it's gonna come over the best. Uh. Yeah, look at the soul. Yeah, look at the soul, bro. Look at the soul in these. All right. So these are my phones are listening on eBay. I mean, these ain't really even mine. I just got them off second hand. That's what the numbers are for. I just basically flipped them, uh, hoping to try to fuck some nigga on the price. Um. So like, that's the soul. Like basically, like. Dog, that shit looks like George Jefferson, the top of his head, bro. That shit looks like curling head, my dude. That shit is that smooth. Nigga, that's like the, that's like Stone Cold Steve Austin head, bro. Pause. Um, so that's the, that's that. So I, I gotta show you the response. Because I sent offers up to niggas like, yo, like, please cop this shit. Get out of my fucking crib. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I don't know. This shit should be fun. All right. These are beyond cook, bro. IDK, how much longer these have for <laughs> Yo, I gotta screenshot this shit, bro. Before my toe starts touching the floor, bro, to keep it a stack 70 is too much. <laughs> I, mean, I already know how to respond to that, bro. Uh, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say meet me in the middle and put 65, bro. Yo, this can <laughs> cook the fuck out of my shit, bro. That's why I gotta get out of reselling, bro. I'm sorry, man. Uh, yo, I <laughs> can't. I'm out here giving niggas bum ass deals and shit. And, uh, I wish I was high right now, bro. I, I'm not even like at all intoxicated, dude. I'm as sober as you can get, and I wish I was high as fuck. Cause that song, the middle section, I don't remember the, the first section. Be honest with you, the, the last section was cool because the whole like, yeah, you beat your wife type shit. Um, not cool because of that, but like, that was what made that relevant. Um, that that middle section, um. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the first section. I don't remember the first section, bro. And this is as far. I don't use the far. So that's why I got the ads and shit like that. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm poor. I guess I don't have YouTube Premium, but. So this this part would be like the song. You know, like Drake got to like make a song of his beef. Like his his shit got to be like a song. It, it got to be a song. It, it can't. It can't not be a song. This is the song part. The rest of it is like him like trying to fuck with with you know, all associated parties. Uh, I had to get that nigga a like because that, that shit he. Listen, I, I I thought Kendrick was up. The more I listened and saw people speak about, um, not Taylor May, but his basic uh, Sit Sixteen and the other one, uh, the first one, uh, Euphoria, and the fact that nigga might be fuck, getting fucked by Hunter Schaefer. I was like, all right, Kendrick got this shit comfortably. And this is why I don't know. Well, he definitely had to release this first because, or he had to release like he had like I said he had to edit parts of it after the fact. And what I think he did is probably, like, he probably had, uh, this first section definitely was what he was going to go over and just drop anyway. Like, this was going to be his response no matter what Kendrick said. So it's more than likely this first part is like already recorded, ready to go. And then the middle part doesn't really, like, talk about Kendrick in depth, I feel like. like this is pretty much, like, his response to all the other industry niggas, which... Again, probably recorded already. I think this third part is probably like this. This third part is what's gonna have been actually made after Kendrick dropped his shit, and you can kind of tell because he talks about the the Pharrell shit, uh, you know, being blacker or Kendrick being blacker, you know, all that stuff. This, this third part, I think, is what actually came after his song, uh, after Euphoria and all that. So. <sighs> You know, I, I gotta say, um, all this considered, I mean, keep it in mind, like, Kendrick came with, like, I, to me, like, at least fire. Like, you may not say, like, most fire shit of all time, but fire response. For him, half of his song, well, over half of his song had already been pre recorded, more or less. I, I mean, I think it's a stellar response. And then, you know, the whole, like, him beating his wife shit, um, Beating this girl that like didn't even want to become his wife, as I understand, and the girl that also like uh, produced kids maybe by by um, Day Free, who was like his video recorder, all that shit. Uh, the guy who pretty much shot most of his videos that we know of that are like well renowned. Um, 
Yeah, I could go back again, but instead I'm gonna play Kendrick shit, and then I'm gonna just do like a part two. I, I, what do we do? So how long is this? For twenty three minutes? All right, so I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna do Kendrick's, and then, excuse me. I guess we'll just do a fucking a uh, uh, whole review type shit on the. We'll do three videos. We'll do three videos. This shit, like live streaming, is so much better than doing what I'm doing right here. Way better. Way, way better than. But fuck it. We're going to get into it.